So I thought I would show you how I solve the two here. Uh, where a pulse person pulls on a 50 kilogram death, he just gonna use a 200 Newton force in the next 30 feet of the horizontal. So it looks like he's pulling like this. Uh, the desk doesn't go over here, so I'm gonna talk about FG, FM, and uh, F, which is the aesthetic view. So, first thing we need to do is uh, we're gonna do the three body diagram for the uh, deck right here. So, on a surface, on this side, has a mass. Gravity on a surface is going to have a normal force and um, there's the angle here, angle force here. Um, it's the 200 Newton force times 30 degrees. So we're just going to call that. We can see FN and FG are going to line up really nicely with an X and Y axis, but FP doesn't, so it needs to be broken down into its components. So it's going to have an X component, and it's going to have a Y component. I'm going to call this F. PX, I'm going to call this FPY. Um, note that if we just had FPX and this was the only force in the X direction, this, this desk would be moving. So we need to have the other force. Let's see how we can say that. Here we go. The other force holding it here must be friction. These two forces should be equivalent since they're the only ones there we know that. So then we make our equation. Uh, I'm going to make them over here so I'm not working. Uh, forces, let's start in the x direction, equal, we've got force of static friction, uh, minus, sorry, it's going to be negative four plus FPX, and it's going to equal zero newtons. Um, let's also do the sum of the forces in the Y direction, which we're going to add all these components up. So we've got a positive normal force. We've got a positive FPY and we have a negative FG. Again, if it's not moving, this is also equal to zero newtons. Now, if we have an X component and a Y component, we need to look at this uh, triangle right here. You know, from the problem that this is 30 degrees. Now, FPY is the opposite side of the angle, and FPX is the adjacent side to the angle. So we're going to have to use a sine and cosine to look at these. So since sine of an angle is the opposite over the hypotenuse, and we know sine of 30 degrees here is going to be equal to uh, FPY over FP. Because FPY is the opposite side and FP is going to be the same side. We're gonna multiply both sides by FP. 
and we get FPY equals FP times the sine of 30. I'm going to generalize this a little bit. If I want the opposite side, the opposite force to an angle, that's always going to be equal to the force times the sine of the angle. So this is a good thing to memorize. If we want the opposite side, it's going to be the force times the side of the angle. Now, if we want to talk about FPX, we're dealing with, I'm going to star that, cosine of theta is adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Um, so cosine of 30 equals FPX, which is the adjacent side to the angle, over FP. Same thing. We're going to multiply both sides by FP. We get FP cosine theta, or 30, equals FPX. And we can replace FPX with, with these things. Uh, again, I'm going to generalize a little bit. If you have the adjacent side of the angle that you're looking for, uh, that's going to equal um, the force times cosine of the angle. Good thing worth memorizing. So, I'm actually going to start with this because it's going to give us more useful information. I can hop up here, and I already know FG is always going to be equal to MG, which is going to be equal to 50 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared. And I get that the force of gravity is... 50 times 9.81, 490, 50, um, yeah, 490.5 newtons. Now, if I want to find normal force, I'm going to use force in the y direction here. And I know some things. I know I'm solving for this, so I'm going to leave that alone. FPY, we showed over here. It is the opposite side to this angle that we know. So it's going to be the force times the sine of the angle. So we know it is plus the force, 200 newtons, times sine of 30. And we know Fg, we already solved for up here, is 490.5 newtons. all equal zero newtons. We're going to combine terms here. Fn equals 200 times sine of 30 uh, minus 490.5. And I get negative 390.5 newtons equals zero. I'm going to add that over to the other side because I'm trying to solve for normal force. I get normal force is equal to 390.5 newtons.
And then finally, for the force of static friction, we're looking in this direction now. So I know I've got this negative force of static friction plus FPX, which is the adjacent side. So if it's the adjacent side, it's the force times the cosine of the angle. In this case, it's the pull force times cosine 30. So it's, I'll write that out. Angle, zero newtons, negative FSF, plus 200 newtons times cosine of 30, equals zero newtons, negative FSF, plus 200 times cosine of 30 is 100. 73.2 newtons equals zero newtons. Check my answers against my key. Yep. And so I get, um, if I subtract this over, that the force of static friction, the magnitude of it, because uh, I'm going to add Subtract this to both sides. Subtract this to both sides. Uh, and then I'll divide both sides by a negative one. And I will get that this is 173.2 newtons. Um, you could say that um, it's also 173.2 newtons in the negative direction as well. All right. Uh, and that is that problem.